Conditional formatting is fantastic when you want to give students quick feedback for their answer for basic things such as term and definition, math problems, and other areas of your course. But here it is. Here's one example is terminology and definition. So I have a word bank over here. So let's say a student comes in and they put their answer in and they get it right. I can get it to turn green. They come down here. Let's say they get it wrong. It turns red. So they know that they have to change their answer. It, it's something different. And they go, they figure out it's the salute in this case. And it turns green. Or let's say you have a math problem. Convert 10 minutes to seconds. You can set this up. So let's say they get this number right. They put 10. It turns green. And make sure their units are right. So they'll highlight this and put in what they think the units are, because it's always important to put units in math or any kind of math equation. So they put minutes. Green, they got it right. They come down here, let's say they get it wrong, it doesn't change. So they go back over one, they get it right. Time stays the same, number, they'd put 60 up here. Hey, it's right. And seconds, right. Now if they get it wrong, they put the units in the wrong spot, it will stay red. So they know right away they got it wrong. So they have to go back and switch it. And then you can do the answer and unit here as well. So how do we do this? So here's a blank sheet. So what you want to do is you type in your question and you format it the way you like. Then what you can do is you go to format, go to conditional formatting. And there's a ton of cool things you can do here. The single, single color is really nice because if you just highlight it, it pops right up here, A2. And you can choose from a variety of different rules. So is empty, is not empty, text contains. So let's click text contains. And I'm going to type in love. And what color will it turn if they type in love? Yellow. Okay, done. Another rule. Let's say text doesn't not contain the word love. Then it'll turn purple, purplish pink. Done. You can add other rules as well. So it's empty. So if they don't give an answer. You could have it turn red. So you come here. They type in love. There's the yellow. Beautiful. Now you have other options here add another rule. You can do color scale as well. So this is really nice if you're doing percentages or in between. So give a min value of let's say zero. Then you want to come down here and make sure it's the same thing. So if you have number up here, use number down here. If not, it won't let you enter what you want. But number, let's say it is 10. So some kind of range. You can do that. So let's say you put a one in. Hey, let's say you put 10 in. It's going to be white. Nine, slightly more green. So a ton of different options that you can do with this and it's great for quick feedback so your students know right away if they're getting something right or wrong.